Are you tired of juggling a million schedules and sticky notes? Well, we were too until we tried the Hearth display. We've tried them all. We've tried Google calendars. We've tried iPad calendars. We've tried everything we possibly can. But watch this video to find out everything you need to know about the Hearth display. And most importantly, why we love it. All right, welcome back to We Tried It. I have the Hearth display here with our lovely two kiddos on here. They're just taken on vacation. Uh, awesome picture, isn't it? But uh, I want to tell you everything about this Hearth display, what we loved about it, a couple of things that we didn't like about it, and most importantly, is it worth your hard earned dollar? So let's dive in. I'll tell you everything you need to know. First of all, what is the Hearth display? Well, as you can see, it is a giant screen. It does not just show photos. It actually has a full calendar, routine, and to-do list function that we use every single day. It's got a big 27 inch screen. It is actually plugged in through uh, our wall here in the uh, closet behind it. I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second, but let me walk you through the basic features of this awesome display. All right, so this is the first screen that you'll see when you get on here. It is the calendar function. There's me, my wife, Teddy, and Scarlett. Uh, this is just our family calendar. What I love about this, and one of the things we struggled with using just Google Calendar before, is my schedule during the week is bananas. So this just shows us the things that we want. If I've got something like I gotta be in Denver on, um, on Thursday, and so I put that on the calendar so they know, but they don't have all my meetings that I have in Denver on the calendar. So you can look at month, you can look at the day, you can look at the week, and you can look at the month. Super easy to use. We typically have it on the week view because too much stuff is going on um, every single day or too much in the month. The next thing is the helper, which you can't actually use on the screen itself, but it is an awesome feature. What it allows you to do is it allows you to send a text message or an email to this address here. It's tied to your email account and your phone number you give it to when you sign up. The great thing is if you've got, I don't know, like let's say a kid's dance schedule, you can just simply take a picture of it, text it or email it to this. You give them your email address and phone number when you sign up so they know this you, and they automatically tie it to your account. You don't type it in, auto, you don't type it at all. Wouldn't that cool? So there's that. Um, we don't use the list a whole lot. Um, lists are a little bit unique. I'll talk about the differences here in just a second, but the thing we use the most is our routines. Now. Everyone else is uh, out of the house at the moment, and so not a lot has been done today. But let me just show you what a morning routine looks like. So, looks like. so let's look at Teddy's bed bedtime routine, actually. We've got shower and bath if needed, PJs, pick up room, brush teeth. And both of our kids love waking up every morning and checking off their to-do list in the morning. When they come home from school, they check off their afternoon list. And right before they go to bed, they check off their evening list. You can have different routines for different people. In fact, my wife, if you see here, she can have some different routines as well. Uh, she's got some morning chores. That's funny that my wife calls them chores to me. Um, but get ready, pick up, make beds, empty dishwasher. She does it every, every day. I'll give it to her today since she sees out. And says, ta-da, she did a great job. Good job, Jessica. <laughs> uh, that is the single most amazing feature that we didn't know that we needed. I actually thought a chore chart was gonna be kind of a stupid idea, but it ends up being awesome. All right, so let me tell you what we love about the display. Well, first of all, it's just beautiful. Doesn't it look good? It's nice and clean. I don't actually know what the camera for, is for now that I see that there, but it's nice and clean, comes in three different colors, comes in wood, black, and white. And you can see there's no cords hanging out here. We hate that aesthetic. Uh, once again, I'll talk about that here more in just a second, but it's easy to use. You have to be a little careful and make sure that you have it at the right height for your kids to use. My kids are now six and eight. And so they can actually reach this. Uh, if you see some smudge prints, it's because they, they have been using this, but my daughter uses it every day. So is my son. Uh, in fact, here's them using it just the other morning. What does it say? Good job, Scarlett. What does it say, Ted? Way to complete your morning routine. 
Cool. Uh, you finish your set? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, see? nice. Do you guys like this? Yeah. They love it. All right, the other thing that we love about this is it allows you to show just the things that you want to show. Now, my work calendar, I'll show it on here for just a second. It's pretty crazy. It will take a second to load because I got so many things on there, but you'll see in just a second, like I got a ton of different events and my family doesn't care about all my one-on-ones and weekly meetings I've got with people. And so you can just really easily click that off and they will go away. Um, sorry, it's kind of hard to do this sideways here, but they don't need to see all my different meetings and they don't when they have it turned off. Um, it allows us to see just what is going on. And my kids are now getting the age where they can tell, oh man, you know, Friday, yesterday was a uh, t-shirt day and mom's going to be volunteering at school and the cleaning people are coming. They love being able to use the, the calendar that way. And like always, they, they, like I said earlier, they like to use the routines a lot as well. All right, now let's talk about what we don't like. Now the main thing is kind of funky and it's not really Hearth Display's fault, but it's just finding the right spot for it. As you can see, this does not have a cord or any outlet or anything here. It'd be awesome if there's one right there, but that doesn't make any sense. Um, so we actually had to run a uh, cord through the back. This is a closet over here. I'll show you what that looks like. And we hired an electrician, it's like 50 bucks, 35 bucks, I can't remember, to come in and fix it uh, so that they could have an outlet in here, actually goes in here. We duplicated an outlet that was here on the side. It's really tough to find the right spot for your hearth display because you want it somewhere that's prominent. You don't want it like in a closet, but this is actually in our next to our pantry where the kids grab stuff for breakfast and for their lunches every day. And it's a great spot for it. So finding the right spot can be just a little bit tricky, but it's definitely not impossible. Another thing that we did not like is the price. This retails for $6.99, I believe it's on sale for $5.99 right now. And it is a little expensive, I get it, but it's a really high quality piece of equipment. It's fast, unlike the skylight frame. But you know, my wife actually wanted to try out an iPad planner with a pencil that she could like, you know, write on and do that kind of stuff. And I don't know what an iPad is, like 600 bucks. And it's just really important as a family to know what's going on in everyone's life. And I can't tell you how many arguments my wife and I have had since I've been like, oh, hey, did you put it on the counter? Oh, hey, did you put it on the counter? And now there's no arguing about it. You can literally see it here. You can actually add events to the calendar here. It's not as easy as on the companion app. There is a companion app on iPhone and I believe on Android as well. You can insert the details of it here. You can say who's attending. Um, great way to keep your family organized, especially if you've got a lot of different things going on, and a lot of moving parts. And I don't really know if you can put a price on being an organized family that everyone knows what's going on, right? One other cool thing that we really like about this is you can set it up to be just like a picture frame. They call this the, sorry, it's, it actually, the touch screen works really well, it just has to do sideways. Uh, so you can hit privacy mode. So let's say you have people coming over, you know, I'm gonna see what's going on. You can upload a picture through the companion app on your phone, which is really cool. And uh, once again, I just love having this picture and like we're gonna have a Halloween party coming up. And so we'll probably put it on here. I also forgot to mention, it does have a little weather app. So if the kids wanna know what the temperature's gonna be before they get ready for school, it's right there, which we love that too. Now we tried so many different things beyond just this. As I mentioned earlier, my wife actually tried one of those journaling um, planner apps for her iPad and she didn't like it. It was really tough to do. It didn't really connect to other services. You had to write everything down. She had to have the iPad with her. And we tried the Skylight calendar. We actually have the Skylight Max on the way and I'll do a full comparison of that when it does come. We tried the Google Echo Show. We tried the Skylight calendar. This is a great blend of a larger size and it's really easy to use for the kids. This is designed for the kids. I, I, I wanna make sure that you're very clear about that. Sure, you can use it if you don't have kids, but it's great for your kids. We don't have to nag them to do their chores. They just have to look at the screen and they kind of like doing it too, right? Um, and so we tried that. What else have we tried? We tried almost everything and even just a paper schedule on the, on the fridge. But you know, if I'm at work, I don't have the paper schedule with me, right? So the even cooler thing is if they send in that paper schedule, like I showed you earlier, they can use that helper function and take a picture of it and send it in and it'll automatically show up on your calendar. That's pretty cool. We've tried them all and I don't really feel the need to try any others. I'm just trying the Skylight Max because I wanna compare it to this. I'm just, I'm just curious, as you know, we like to try new things here at We Tried It, but those are all the things we've tried. And I have to say, 
this is the best. Even for $5.99 or $6.99, it is the best. There are some optional features you can pay about 10 bucks a month for. Uh, you don't need that, but like the auto magical feature of sending a picture in, that is part of the $9 a month plan, but you can use it just like almost everything else that I showed you on here. Here's a quick comparison of things that are available on the free plan versus the $9.99 a month plan. You do not need to buy it. Uh, we have it here on this one because um, we really like that auto magical feature, especially with different schedules we get with like dance class and stuff like that. I do want to quickly talk about what other things this integrates with. This integrates with basically any calendar that you're probably already using. Google Calendar, Apple iCal, if you have an office calendar that runs on Microsoft Exchange and Outlook, that all syncs into here. You can pick and choose which ones you want. You actually do that all through the companion app, which I will show you some screenshots of here. Super easy to set up. I have a set up an account, link your accounts, and then it automatically pulls them in. It's also how you update this picture. I do wish this you could upload like five or six pictures and show them, you know, rotating. Does not do that, but that's okay. That's probably one of the features that I will recommend to them that they come out with in the future. But it's super easy to set up, super easy to sync with that. It doesn't sync with other things like Notion or Things or Apple Reminders, unless you have your Apple Reminders connected to your calendar. Um, super complicated thing to do. Or not actually that complicated, but more complicated than what most people know how to do. Uh, I, I use separate to-do list um, for me. My to-do list is way longer. But the cool thing is um, on these to-do lists, if you did have things like, you did use for like grocery shopping or whatever, we have a pretty standard grocery order that we put in every, every Saturday. Um, you could put grocery items on here and then see it on your app and then add different stuff to it from the app too. Um, but we just keep that separate. That's not um, anything that I would expect to see in this device at all. So what do we think? Is this a game changer for our family? I have to tell you 100% yes. I've had my eyes on some of these digital frames. I've seen like, I don't know what's it called, like the DAC box or whatever. It is not user friendly. You have to get a CPU and blah, blah, blah. I would not recommend getting something like that. If you want the most simple, elegant way to keep your family organized, check out the Hurt Display. I love it. I've got a chance to meet the founders of it. They are uh, parents themselves and they created this because they have chaotic lives too. Do you have any questions about this? Any comments or concerns? You know, please let me know. I'd love to answer any questions you have. I love it. My kids love it. My wife love it. We love to be organized. And um, you know, having everything in one spot is really what makes the biggest difference for us. I'm sorry about this weird angle. This is a very uh, small hallway. The camera is actually in our pantry right now and I'm kind of leaning in. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. It's not as action-packed as some of our other reviews like e-bags or anything else like that, but if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. Please let us know in the comments below, and I hope to see you again real soon.